Hi, I'm Tom Nelson. This is a quick test of four films used for making digital negatives, made by Pictorico and Fixens. Of the two, Pictorico is the leader. It's the best known, and it's the one most alt printers I know are using. Fixens has a small but enthusiastic following, and it's quite a bit less expensive, so it's worth considering. Let's get going. There are three films in the Pictorico lineup. Pictorico Pro OHP is known as TPU-100. Pictorico Pro Ultra Premium is TPS-100. There's a new film, Pictorico High Gloss, which seems designed for backlit displays and is not suitable for digital negatives. Just to confuse things, some sizes come in a white package and some in a black package. I have no idea why. Pictorico is made by Mitsubishi and their website recommends both Pro and Ultra Premium for digital negatives using either pigment or dye-based inks. For Epson printers, they say Ultra Premium is optimized for Epson K3 inks and has 25% more ink density. It's hard to compare these films on price since nobody sells both films at the same sizes, but it appears that Ultra Premium is just a little bit more expensive. I've been using Pictorico Pro, the cheaper stuff, for a couple of years now and I've been very happy with it, but I've been hearing more and more about Fixins and some people really swear by it. It's worth looking at. Fixins also has two film products. Their waterproof film is designed for silkscreen printers and is less expensive. They have another film specifically intended for digital negative printing, which is more than 50% more expensive, but still less than half the price of Pictorico. I made a simple test image with three patches, pure black, 50% gray, and pure white, and printed it on each of the film stocks. I used an Epson printer with K3 Ultra Chrome ink, I scanned the four films together with a black card and included a bit of the scanner glass as well. In Photoshop, I made sure the black card was pure black and the scanner pure white. That gives me a reasonable contrast range to compare the films. Here's the result when I read the densities in Photoshop on a 0 to 255 scale. Despite what Pictorico says, the black patches were almost identical, though Pictorico Ultra Premium is about 14% darker. The mid-tone patch was lightest in Fixin's Waterproof and darkest in Pictorico Ultra Premium, though the difference wasn't great, about 9%. As you can tell by looking at the films, the unprinted patches were denser in the two Pictorico films, with Pictorico Ultra Premium 12% darker. It will take more UV exposure to print a black through them. Here's the range of tones from black to white for each film. Simply stated, the two Fixin's films hold more shades of gray than the two pictorical films. But a scan of the film is not a print. If I expose sensitized paper to ultraviolet light, perhaps the results will change. I gave my standard exposure to the films and made a calotype. Here's what I found out. The black patches represent the unprinted film. The first three films are almost identical, with pictorical ultra premium about 8% lighter. This corresponds to the greater density of the unprinted film, but it's not really visible on the print. I didn't apply any curve to the films, and the mid-tones are too dark. The first three films are about the same, and Ultra Premium about 20% brighter. This would mean more ink in the mid-tones of the negative. Finally, the white patches represent the part of each film with the most ink density. The high values are fairly sensitive to density changes, and the two pictorical films print about 1-2% to lighter, just barely visible to the eye. So after all this testing, let's get into the real world now. I took a photo with a full range of tones, applied my standard curve, and made digital negatives from the cheapest and most expensive films in this test, Fixin's Waterproof and Pictorico Ultra Premium. Here are the prints. I used Fixin's Waterproof when I made my curve, and it looks the most like the photo as you might expect. The Pictorico negative printed a little lighter in the mid-tones, but almost exactly the same in the shadows and highlights. Both prints look good to my eye, and it would only take a tiny tweak to the curve to make them identical. What did I learn? Any of these four films will make an excellent digital negative, but Fixin's is considerably cheaper. I can't think of any reason to use Pictorico, and I'll be using Fixin's from now on.